morning, good morning. Okay, so definitely time for a van update. The last van, whoa, under the stairs. The last van video we did, we were insulating and sound deadening and a lot has changed since then. Got a lot of footage. We're just gonna show you what it looks like now and then we'll take you through what we've done. All right, let's take you in. Da, 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 da. Oh, look, she's so different to when you last saw her. So the pop top is up. We're gonna be working on that today. And look, it's all carpeted. So yeah, flashback now to Scott showing you how he carpeted most of this back. Go. Hi guys, how's it going? Today, in some four-way stretch carpet on the camper van. So the stretch carpet, is going on here. I've actually just done the panel behind you, the opposite panel to this, in one piece. And I was trying to do it in one piece because I didn't want any joins that were visible. Obviously I've got the stretch carpet here. Uh, you've got a front and a back. It's pretty simple to figure out the front and the back. The, the back's coarser than the, the front. So um, it ends down here. So what I did was, as you can see on this side, I've Put this sort of insulation it, it doesn't really need insulation on uh, the inside here but I just did it just to give me some like like a bit of bounce basically and um, I've like basically made like a little edging running down here so like when it gets to here I can like poke the carpet in and finish it quite nicely so that was my plan obviously this bit is gonna have a panel that runs across and down so that's why on this side I've like ended the carpet there because I always want to have access to these panels so um, and obviously there's a panel that goes above here as well which I've carpeted already so the edging's all right down here I mean it's a little bit shitty but you know it's not bad and then I've just finished it up there and then to hide this top edge I've pushed it in there and then this bit that I'm going to carpet and go over, I can push it in there too, so I can hide a bit of that. And then I've got my little cable out there. Basically, out at the top, I'm just poking these bits in. I've glued the top so now this is all hanging. And to be fair, it takes the weight pretty well, like you don't be scared of it peeling off because it, it is quite strong. window with a pair of scissors uh, not too much just do a bit at a time and then basically work it down so you can see I've worked it down here um, this is the edge of the window so I'll need to glue these bits in and then the window is here you can see the window so I'll cut a little hole and then work my way and do that okay guys so got the carpet on started from this end like you saw got it on and around and around here now what happened was um, I should have done this side first, you know, the side that's going to be seen a lot um, because that was my best side, um, the one I did first instead of the one I did second. And I ended up with a join here. Um, now I'm not too fussed to be fair because the, the panel's going to be there, so you're only going to see that bit. Always stretch carpet, definitely recommend using it because it hides a lot of imperfections. It's pretty easy to put on, like I do not know what I'm doing. Proper amateur at it. Never done this sort of stuff before in my life, so, you know, I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it. It's just a man with a plan and a roll of carpet. He could snip it, it would be easier. <laughs> but no, he'll shove, 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 shove. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is, um, like, Beautifully done. if you do a little section at the time, so basically, like, this is like, think of this as two sections like this section and then this section and then what you can do is you can like make this edge good and then tuck it in here like wasted space 
and then make this edge good with this bit and then tuck the wasted space in there. All right, so I've been painting out the back. Scott's got the sound deadening on some insulation, some wood. And what's the verdict? Shoe fits. With that being there, what, what happens is it limits your sleeping space to a three quarter width bed. So you could leave that out if you wanted to and you could both have pretty much like a good sized double bed. Or if you have this, we've got to sleep. <laughs> you here, you there. Well, yeah, we've got up to here. I am really long. Yeah, you are long. <laughs> So first job of the day is the pop top. So when the pop top is up and you put the sides up, it is stable and <laughs> won't go anywhere. However, if you don't have the sides up and you're doing it on your own, um, basically the front needs to be attached and it was attached by like a little sort of belt before. Um, and if you have the sides down and let it go, the pop top will literally like come back because it's on springs at the front. It'll literally like come back and try and like rip itself in half. So you're a very uh, self-destructive pop top. <laughs> so I got this wire off eBay, really really cheap. And basically, I'm going to attach this to the front. So it obviously it, it holds the pop top up. So I'll show you that. So conveniently. There's a hole. <laughs> um, I didn't make this hole, it was probably here. So I'm going to shove the wire through this way. And then basically that's going to come through there. And it's going to attach to here. So I'm just going to cut these off about here, leave an inch, um, and then that can just sit there. Beautiful. So before the pop top was kind of like a two man job, because you now kind of had to be. hold it. So if you push it up. Which way to go back? Backwards. Push up and backwards. Of course. What? God, it's heavy. So now the cable should stop it. <laughs> and then you can put the sides up. Gentle? Be gentle! <laughs> Not that, but gentle. You're so heavy handed. <laughs> oh, look at those chins. <laughs> right. Chunks. Chins. <laughs> <laughs> we just found out that these actually pop off. But <laughs> How did we find that out? What happened was um, I was trying to show Ali how to cut the wire because she was struggling to cut the wire. Her weak little hands, you know, <laughs> and um, kind of like showed off. I like put my left hand on it and just went straight through, and the end piece of wire flew from the back of the van. It went straight down this vent and like in there. <laughs> so this comes off, but I don't know where it's gone. But I'm pretty sure like the blower motor's fucked anyway, so um, shouldn't get tangled up in there. Hopefully, <laughs> but we might have a little bit of a rattle. <laughs> So, um, managed to get Ali away from playing the worst looking game in the world. Titanic, please. Titanic. Let me um, work my ass off here. Like, she's going back to her childhood playing Titanic. So and I managed you to, ripped me away from such. I ripped her away from playing it. So, I don't know if you can notice, but this side has its first coat. Um, the reason we did this is because I, I did think we got the black carpet. I did think it was going to be too black, so... We've gone for the same colour as the cupboards, which is like um, grey, grey sort of. I think it's like almost like a little bit blue. Um, no? It's not blue. <laughs> it's grey. Isabella, remember what we were talking about? <laughs> that men are completely colour blind. <laughs> okay, so um, this is this is the thing. We have masking tape that we bought from ASDA, which does not stick. So that's fun. Um, as you can see here, we masked along the top and then got to the middle and thought, fuck that, <laughs> okay. we're not doing any more. Um, so that's that. It wasn't that. sticking anyway, I did a neater yeah. job without it. So we got cardboard stuffed in around 
Um, I'm trying not to get paint everywhere because I am the worst painter in the world. Ali's pretty good. A close up of Ali painting, how about that? Oh wow. Oh, look how shaky she is. Oh, oh, oh. Don't get that on my carpet. Going in blind. Going in blind? You don't fill me full of hope. <laughs> what I'm also going to do is I'm going to paint the wood across the top here and I'm going to paint this bluey grey too and I'm going to paint up the top here across here. Um, this doesn't need painting, this is where the pop top latch goes on but this has a panel which is there that you cut out and carpeted so that goes on there. Oh good morning, it's Sunday, Scott's gone off on some unexpected work stuff so he's going to be gone pretty much all day so I'm going to come and do another coat of the luscious Parisian grey. So the first coat looks really good, really happy with it. We're going to have to touch up because guaranteed the masking tape will, will have bled and it didn't want to stick to this so get a little black, you know, touch it up, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, looking really good so far, not like you can see anything. There we go. Yeah, so definitely needs a touch up around some of the edges. Um, but yeah, do a second coat, leave that to dry, and we'll see if we want to do a third coat after that. Mm -hmm. 